Welcome to a very, very special, oh, oh, a heart-stopping, yeah, yeah, version of the Blazing Beard Bulls blog. And oh, a day or two after the Blazing Beard comes out of his summer retirement. Yeah, man, my retirement, man, didn't last long. All of a sudden, the Bulls pull a shocking move, and they say to Derrick Rose, get on out to New York City, while Phil Jackson says, moo, and the world wants to know, what does the Blazing Beard think? Well, you already know a little bit about what the Blazing Beard thinks. You know that the Blazing Beard Beard is not necessarily always, you know, the most positive about Derrick Rose, but that doesn't mean I don't love him. It doesn't mean I don't love what he's done for this franchise. So what is my gut reaction? My gut reaction is, what? Huh? Hmm? And then my second reaction is, did they play that well on the court together? I think we know that they, Jimmy and, and Derrick, look, as, for as much as they said they wanted to, they didn't. And... Then they say there's something in the locker room, something wrong with the locker room, and the leaders are pulling each other apart. But we know the worst part of this is that whether the deal is good or not, it manages to make our management even more inept and look even, just fucking even more stupid. Now, how can that even be? I think they're the most heated, unliked, just you management in the entire league now, and we've fallen and people don't want to come here, and do you think that this move is gonna make things any better? I don't think so. Now, does it, does it matter? Maybe Jimmy and Rose didn't get along and they couldn't, so you had to get it out because Gar Foreman said there's just a tiny window. Well, that tiny window is between injuries, right? That's what he means. Now, next year, Derek could possibly have an MVP season or build up to it, and then the year after, he could help the Knicks win a championship and he returns to his form and he doesn't get injured. What are the, I mean, what are the chances of that? All right, well, I figured it out, right? Here's this egg, all right? All we have to do is throw it in the air, and I will catch it. And I'm a good catch, so we'd have to do that 82 times to represent a season. One, okay. Two, we got three, four. I'm going to throw it high. Oh, because that represents a really good team. Five. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, oh. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm not saying it would be five or six games. Maybe I'm just a bad catch, and, and don't be a poor sport, but... What are the chances right now that Derek is going to do that? It doesn't seem likely. He'll have a good season. He'll be a maybe an elite level player, but I just do not see, not only with the injuries, the drive. A guy like Russell, Russell Westbrook, different injuries, similar but different. He comes at it every single game like he is the meanest, maddest motherfucker, and I love that kind of heart, and I love that kind of drive, which is why this, again, goes back on Bulls management, because they lied about Noah last year, wanting to come off the bench. He's the heart of this team, and people like ship Noah off. There are very few players that have that drive. LeBron doesn't have that drive. Sure, he won that, and he didn't deserve the MVP. We all know it's Kyrie. He had to wake up, wake up, wake up. Noah never has to wake up. He's always that way. But when you rip the heart out of the team, yeah, I mean... It's on you and it's on management. This isn't a retool. This might not even be a rebuild because if they can have a rotten enough season, which they just may have, especially if anything happens to Jimmy, then you've got to get him out of there. I've never wanted somebody out so bad. We needed a clearing house with the Chicago Bears a few years ago and look at what they are doing, and you have to do the same. Gar Packs are not getting any better. They're fighting with people. They're running good coaches and shitty coaches out of town and then hiring kids with braces to pretend like they're coaches. Jesus, good God. We all need to puff a little bit of herb right now and calm down. So uh, it doesn't matter what the Blazing Beard thinks. He's out. Jimmy's the leader. This is your team. You better hope Noah doesn't go because then we're really going to, you know, what bright spots do we have? They're going to deal each one next. I kind of like Justin Holiday. Who knows? This is the soap opera that is Chicago, and this is why they need to go so that we don't have a soap opera, right? We need to, we need to really, oh, what is going to, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, my God, I did not think. Well, I'm going to go back to my uh, retirement Blazing Beard Bulls blog. Peace, brothers and sisters.